guys welcome to the vlog so um, it's actually been a couple days since I have actually vlogged because I filmed um, for this channel a couple of just um, more regular videos like um, I filmed that dinnerly review in the color pop unboxing um, so I didn't vlog those days actually at all I just filmed those and edited them and posted them so um, right now it is Thursday our last day in the office it is about 1.37. We're heading back from lunch. Went to lunch just a little bit later today. Sometimes we do that. Um, so yeah, we're heading back. That's a nice car. Uh. Not that green one. Um, so anyways, I have iced coffee and I'm heading back to um, the office. It is such a nice day. It stormed during the night. Um, we've had a couple storms lately. Um, but then this week, it's actually totally rare because this week it's supposed to be super nice. Um, like sunny every day, which is like unheard of <laughs> because it's been so rainy. And also we still have one more recipe from Dinnerly to make. We made another one last night. We had three, technically three to make, um, but it was enough for a meal for both of us. Um, and oh my gosh, what are these people doing? People here just like pull out in front of you. I don't know. Um, but anyways, we have uh, one more meal to make tonight. Last night we had gyros or gyros, or I really don't know how you say that word. We had that. Uh, I kind of messed up on that one. Uh, Manny kind of burned the bread a little bit. <laughs> it's okay though, because I actually like things burned. I, I don't really mind that, unless it's too burned, but I like a burned flavor. Um, and anyway, so it was good. I actually really liked it. Um, it wasn't like... I still like the one from the night before that we did in the video the best so far. And tonight we're having burgers and um, fries, like cottage fries. So I'm wearing these shoes today and I couldn't figure out why this one was uncomfortable because this one's comfortable. And this one was hurting my foot so bad I thought it was just because I had that little mark on there already. And then I looked down after I got to work. I had already gotten here and this was in the shoe, the little thing they put in shoes. I was wearing it with this in there. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> How did I not realize? It's like a typical Rose thing to do, too, because I always wear clothes with tags on them. Like, like every time I get something new, I wear it like that at least once or twice. <laughs> Before we go home, I want to show you guys really quickly that we put some shelves up in the office and put these feathers up that I had in my office in New Mexico, if you've been around um, since I did my office tour there. You'd see that, or you can go back and watch that. I was watching old videos the other day. Um, but anyway, we just kind of hung some of these shelves up in here with uh, some of my favorite decorations that I have for the office. Um, over here we just had this picture that I also had in New Mexico. Um, we have our little name plates, this thing that was in my shoe. Um, the arrow, that candle was from Dirt Cheap. I had that in my haul. It's amazing, it smells so good. Um, we have drums over here and then also got these for my office in New Mexico. Um, kind of like a Southwest type of theme. So. That is what we have going right now. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys what it's looking like in here right now. It is such a nice day. Really warm, really sunny. No rain, which is, you know, kind of, like I said earlier, kind of rare. Because um, it's been raining so much. So it feels really good. I really want to buy, like, a... Um, I need some of my I really want to buy a like patio set for our back like deck that we have because it would be perfect to sit out there and especially in the summer I'm gonna want to do that so anyway I really want to look into something like that to get and we need to get a grill too we need a grill we had one in Indiana and then we had that little tiny one in New Mexico um but we need to get a grill. So you guys know I've been liking to show you like uh, different deals and stuff that I find. So I want to show you this. This is a mini happy planner. Um, it's like you bring it in your purse or whatever. It's, it's like a smaller one you guys know or you might not know but I love happy planners. Um, you get it from Michaels and other places I'm sure too. I got this one from Michaels. It was in the clearance section. I've been checking out the clearance section everywhere because you can find some crazy stuff. But um, it was $20, and I got it for $7.97. So basically $8. It basically was $20, and I basically got it for $8. So that was such a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. I'll show you really quickly um, kind of what it looks like here. Um, 
so it has like some stickers just like one sheet of stickers here at the beginning i really like that um and then it just uh says you know hello it's marble on the inside um and it says hello you put your name on there just typical planner but um they have all these little pretty like quote pages and stuff and the happy planner and goals and dreams birthdays things like that at the beginning of the month and then just a normal kind of layout where they have the little boxes and then also actually breaking it up into each day where you can write more um so i really love this planner i'm really excited about the price of it because happy planners um aren't the most expensive that you can get but they are um not cheap either so they always do have deals and sales and stuff at michael's they actually were um having there's a coupon that day that you could use that even counted for sale products but it didn't work for this because this was a clearance product i think was the difference uh, but the guy did try to use it that would have marked it down quite a bit more so it is actually not that hard to like get things on a budget and to shop budget friendly if you just maybe put in a little bit of effort for that um and i've been really into finding these deals all right so we're making our dinner um our last one that we have from this round of dinnerly that's my burger that's done we toasted the buns um it's gonna be pesto burgers there is grease literally everywhere this was like messy we have pesto over here and we also have cottage fries in the oven how much do you think needs to go on the burger ow we got pesto burgers and cottage fries this stuff's really good. If Manny will move out of my way. Thank you. So, there's this, um, oh, oh goodness. <laughs> there's this french fry dipping sauce from Great Value. And they actually have chicken dipping sauce that everybody says tastes just like uh, Chick fil A sauce. My mom picked us up some of that. We can't find it anywhere. Um, but this stuff is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Okay, you'll have to ignore my appearance. Um, it is 10 o'clock at night. Um, I've been relaxing all night. I am really tired today. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Um, I also have a pimple, so that's cute. Um, but anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly before I end this vlog. First of all, that was the best hamburger I've ever had in my life. And I've told you guys before, I'm not a huge burger eater. I'm not a huge meat eater in general. I kind of have to be like in the mood for a burger to love it but I do love um pesto and um what is it called pesto? yeah pesto um and it was amazing I've never had it on a burger or anything like that it was so good oh my gosh I loved it so highly recommend that recipe and the cool thing about that is like we know how to make that now you know and it's more than just like putting it on the burger like we mixed it in and things like that so um we know how to make that now which is awesome because we will for sure be making that meal again it was so good um but i want to tell you guys really quickly our etsy shop uwuku designs um is well we actually just launched a new t-shirt today um <clears throat> so i pretty much just wanted to show that to you and also kind of tell you guys um you know some exciting stuff so before i end this just really quickly a really chill um, i just want to show this to you guys and if you're interested or if you know somebody who would be interested Make sure you share with them because it's something that we're really passionate about and really excited about. And um, a lot of you have supported us. We're actually getting um, an order ready right now. Man is in there getting it ready. So I'm um, really thankful for that if you're watching this and you have supported our, our shop by um, you know, favoriting a product, by sharing the post, by uh, purchasing something, whatever it is. Thank you so much. Everything helps and we really do appreciate that. This is our original t-shirt design. It um, says worship is my weapon. It references 2 Chronicles 20 here at the bottom um, and then on the back it says rise up. Um, I have photos wearing this on my Instagram and also our Instagram um, awuku underscore designs. Uh, make sure you go and follow that to keep up to date with everything if you're interested. Um, this is a short sleeve version. Um, right now we have short sleeve and long sleeve options for this shirt. Um, but I love this. I wear this. This one's actually not mine. This came off the rack that um, it's actually just made. 
maybe it could be yours, I don't know. But um, this is not mine, but I do have one for myself and I wear it all the time and I love it. Anyways, then another one that we have that we just launched today, I love this one as well. This is the long sleeve version, but again, we offer this in short sleeve. Um, so it says, child of God. Um, and then down here, it kind of says, you know, different words and different things that the world might try to lab label us as. So broken, unloved, um, fear, you know, something that we kind of get caught up in, lost, um, not enough, I'm dropping the shirt, shame, bound, and those are crossed out. And um, it's kind of like an identity shirt of like, we are children of God and don't have to get caught up in all this other stuff. So I thought this one um, is just a powerful message and something that really means a lot to me. Um, so anyway, on the sleeve, um, it says, I am chosen, if you can see that. Nothing is on the back of the long sleeve version, but the short sleeve version um, has I am chosen on the back, because obviously we couldn't put it on the sleeve. So it's down like the spine, um, but just like it is on the sleeve. So we are super excited to announce that for every 100 t-shirts that are sold, this includes any t-shirt that we have now or will ever have on our shop past designs, current, you know, new releases, uh, future releases, all of it is included. For every 100 t-shirts that are sold, we are gonna be donate, donating $100 to Compassion International. Um, if you've never heard of Compassion, they're an incredible, incredible organization. Um, they work primarily through child sponsorship, um, but they also have their own uh, things that they're doing to develop leaders to um, really release children uh, from poverty, which is something that is really incredibly important and special um, to our hearts. So we are so excited to be able to do this. Um, this is not something that they have asked us to do uh, by any means or a deal or anything that we have with them, but it's just something that we decided to do um, because we really believe in what they're doing and in their ministry that they say is releasing children out of poverty in Jesus' name. And um, they are just an incredible organization that I have um, always seen and always heard about and always just really been inspired by all the incredible ministry that they're doing. Um, so we wanted to kind of partner up with them um, in a sense. Again, it's not like a sponsorship or obviously anything like that. It's just, you know, uh, we wanted to do this and we felt like um, God was calling us to do this. And when Manny actually approached me with this idea, um, it was his idea. I was just like, that is incredible. I would love to do that. And so we're really excited. So yeah, every 100 t-shirts, $100 goes to Compassion, and we're super excited about that. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that, um, again, that includes all t-shirt designs, um, past, present, future, anything that we have. Um, so go check out our Etsy shop. The link is in the bio. Um, even if you don't purchase anything, share it with your friends, post it on Facebook, things like that. Just make us so happy, and we're so thankful for that. Um, so thank you guys for watching this portion of the video. If you've gotten through this much, thank you. I will see you guys tomorrow for a really fun vlog. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.